This time, an American Viscountess, I head west to Pentilly Castle in Cornwall, an exclusive wedding and private hire venue and home to the Corriton family. I help out with a high-powered clear-up operation on the croquet lawn. Yeah, so fat, I know, I mean, this is gonna be a new look for me. <laughs> no, we need to try and start this. If this starts, winner, winner. If okay. not, we'll be shouting for some okay. support and help. Look, Hang on. I feel like a transformer in this. <laughs> <laughs> I rule the world. Oh, 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 this might never stop. <laughs> Master the art of making the perfect bed. And then okay. take what's dangling underneath. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. it. And then bring the bit that was foldy up here. Yeah. Down and then you've got a nice tight, tight corner. And venture into the Victorian kitchen garden where nature is giving solace to war veterans. When I married into the British aristocracy, it was the start of a wonderfully exciting journey, but it was also a little daunting. I became a Viscountess, and for an American girl from a small town outside Chicago, that was quite a shock. I live with my husband, Luke, heir to the Earl of Sandwich, and our family at Mapperton House in Dorset. Mapperton is a glorious sandstone house dating originally from the 1540s. It is known as Britain's finest manor house, and it is full of wonderful treasures collected by Luke's ancestors. Living in a place like this is a joy, but also a challenge. And every day we're aware that we're preserving a very special part of Britain's heritage. Mapperton has opened up an extraordinary new world for me, and I can't wait to share it with you all. So if you love castles and manors and stately homes as much as I do, please join me as I head off to visit some of Britain's most spectacular historic homes. On these trips, I'll be meeting other owners who manage these large houses and estates, as well as some of the fantastic people who work there too. With them, I'll be exploring the history, the landscapes, and the innovations of generations past and present. And I'm particularly keen to meet the remarkable women who, like me, have married into these families, bringing new ideas, energy, and more than a touch of style. I'll be sure to roll up my sleeves and help out with a few jobs along the way. Is there a snake in here? Yeah. What? What? So please join this American Viscountess as I journey into the British countryside in search of some of Britain's finest historic houses. Pentilly Castle stands gloriously on the banks of the River Tamar in the southwest of Britain. It's the first time I visited Pentilly and I can't wait to see Sammy again. All right, something is going on here. There are chairs. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of doing that. That is not what I expected to see. I was like, no, no, where's, no, no. where's Sammy? And then all of a sudden I see this machine. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Come to how I meet my leaf blower. Sorry, I'm not the expert, but um, all hands to the pump today. To well, get okay, so tell me what is happening here because there's a, it obviously look very tidy, but it looks very red. <laughs> You're tidying up. We are tidying up. So there's been a wedding right. this weekend. So yeah, there's chairs needing to go in and out. Turn the house around, basically, ready for guest tonight. Oh yeah. my! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Well, okay. This is spectacular. This is good. The it's drive also... was fantastic. And you brought beautiful weather, so you can come again anytime you like. Yeah, I will. But, yeah. Absolutely, I will. Um, but okay, so you're tidying up for a wedding, so you're obviously busy. Yeah, come with me. 
I will come and help you. Yeah, yeah perfect. That's what and I like to do. leaf blower for you, Judy? I will leave the case. leaf blower in your <laughs> we'll very it capable hands. We'll need it for confetti in a minute to <laughs> come on through. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm walking into a castle. You, oh, I a mean, little one, did I know. But well done, castle. Pendilly. Absolutely. I don't want to drop your bag yeah. there. That would be amazing. Perfect. Totally, she's totally taking oh. liberties with guests arriving I like this. I love it. She's not normally allowed in the house, so we'll... Oh, I, I love her At grand. least the hoovering hasn't happened quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. In this room, wedding parties celebrate under the sparkle of the Waterford crystal chandeliers and the watchful eye of the first happy couple of Pentilly. We've got Sir James Tilly and Elizabeth, his wife. Right. So Sir James Tilly built the house in 1698. So very important man for us. Very important man. Is that who I, that's yes. who I passed there. Met him on his that's, statue at the front. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah. so he built the house 1698. Yeah, 320 yep. something, something years, years ago. ago. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he built the house in 1698 and yeah, he chose, I think, a pretty good spot. Look at this view. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Hello England. Hello. That That's England. And the weather. And the weather. And that this is, is Cornwall. England. That's England. This is Cornwall. But this is what, you know, every American thinks and everybody around the world. When you come to England, this is the view that the you think of. The green and pleasant land. Yes. Do you know what You put it Sorry, perfectly. Sorry, so cliche. Yes. And the, the big lawn for croquet match or whatever. And... <laughs> Right. The tidy up begins here. <laughs> Confetti needs to be cleared up and all the Hello. Rest. This so, is Chrissy, our wedding coordinator. So, Julie. So you <laughs> are the wedding coordinator. Well, this is fantastic. I mean, I kind of wish I had gotten married here. How many weddings do you do a year? Uh, around about 25 to 30. Right. Um, That's a lot. Different sizes. Yeah. Um, from Big Diddy. Ones, the tiny ones were just two, which is so lovely. You can feel the emotion in the rooms. They are absolutely spectacular right the way through to weddings with 200 people down here on the on the lawn with a marquee yeah. incredible know, every single one is different they are they're all memorable for their own right reasons it's lovely and i love that you're in your heels <laughs> they're fantastic <Aim> high. <laughs> <laughs> that's right Aim Chrissy high. loves a heel but i on the other hand do not no, same with me. <laughs> but sammy how long have you been having weddings here because that's a big part of your business since, here at pentelli right yeah it is actually so since before we opened so 2008 was the first one Right, so um, so that's going for a good 13 years now. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, if you count, you know, the year that didn't exist. <laughs> but it's a big, it's a big part of your business here. It is, it's, yeah. Weddings it, I, and, and private hire. So families come and they stay for the whole, for the whole weekend, don't they, Chrissy? They take over the castle for they do. two or three days. Yeah, or even a week. What can I do to help? Well, we I, need to get the get the confetti cleared. So okay. um, this is quite tedious, isn't it? Yeah. The, it's uh, natural petal confetti, though, that we make here. From, from the flower bed. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> so much for this. I'm going to get that leaf blower, Judy. You can Are have you? a go with the leaf blower. Can I have a go? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was hoping you were going to ask me that. I need to try out that leaf blower. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't, I don't think I am. <laughs> what? Would you like glasses? I don't bother with the glasses. Okay, but you can, yeah. we can, I'll give them to you once you've got this on. It's quite heavy. Okay. It looks come very around, heavy. Come okay. The, come around the okay. other side of the, okay. oh my the gosh. blower. Oh my gosh. Sammy, <laughs> I did not expect this when I was coming ready? for a visit. This is heavy. Okay. Should we pop the yeah, glasses on? Yeah, glasses on. Okay. Well, you look so fabulous. I know. I mean, this is going to be a new look for me. <laughs> we need to try and start this. If this starts, winner, winner. If okay. not, we'll be shouting for some okay. support and help. Look, Hang on. I feel like a transformer in this. Rule the world. This might never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, keep going. Like, okay. Neil was earlier pumping, giving okay. me a bit of I'm gonna try action. this. Here we go. Okay, pump it in. Come on, <laughs> Chrissy, you're the detective. <laughs> it will start. It will. Oh my goodness me. Chrissy enthusiastically steps in. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then producer Victoria gets all fired up. <laughs> okay, Neil. No! Can this go in the behind the scenes, please? But when girl power falters, oh, Sammy calls in reinforcements. And with Ted, Sammy's father triumphant, it's full throttle ahead.
interesting. Well done. That was, so that was way quicker. It was definitely that was so fun. That was, I did. I felt like you know a Ghostbuster. Yeah, too right. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, part. it was so exhilarating. But it's like the vibration. I'm a bit sort of like <laughs> right now. Amazing. Well, thank you enormously. Oh, Job anytime. done. Anytime. This is what I love to do. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I pop in for an overnight stay <laughs> and put me hard to work. Well, the leaves grow, but it's, it's autumn, isn't it? So the leaves will be coming off the trees any time. So yeah, come back in about a month. And dare I say that it's like warm here in England? I know, warm in Cornwall. You see, it's Cornwall, <laughs> it's, isn't it? It's Cornwall. Summer it's, sunshine, so yeah. Um, folks are bringing the southern sunshine and everything, but we're done. So that's good. We're done. And right. We're done. Sorted. So glad I could help out. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have to like... <laughs> Glass of water? Good. Yeah, a glass of water. <laughs> right, should That's I bring this back? Oh yeah, my goodness, it's like a monster. No, yeah. no, I've got it. Got We're beast. friends now. We're friends now. We're friends now. <laughs> I grab one side? Okay. Yeah, yeah maybe. Okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. I've okay. got this. Right, okay, we're sorted. Great. It's a bit of a beast, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit of a beast. Amazing. But it works. It, it gets does. the job done. So come on through. Very. The bookcase is drawing us through there, oh, but we'll show goodness. you all of this later. Come on through. If you don't mind, shoes off. Of course. Ridiculous uh, beige carpet. Whose idea was that? Right, sorry. <laughs> we have Just, the same rule. We have the same rule. Yeah, it's shoes wonderful. off is always good. Can I take this for you? No, I've, I've got Are you it. Sure? I, I promise you. I promise you. All right. So, how many bedrooms are there here? Uh, we have eleven bedrooms. So one downstairs on the ground floor, eight double ensuite bedrooms on this level, mm. and then two up in the turrets. The castle the turrets. turrets. In the turrets. The <laughs> they must be very popular. <laughs> I mean, I want to sleep in a turret. <laughs> You're very welcome. But instead, I've given you the chorus in bedrooms. Okay. So this is oh, one of my favorites. Oh, and you've given me such great views. It's a goodie, isn't Look it? at this. Yeah, down it's over the river. incredible. You know, you are running this now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quite daunting. Right. And sometimes brilliantly. But I've only been here for like a dreadfully. <laughs> but I've only been here for like a nanosecond. Yeah. And you're on the go all the time. Is this what it's like most days? Yes, but I think it's probably the same for you guys, isn't it? There's always yeah, there's always there's always something. There's always isn't something. It? So it's always you, you have a plan for the day. I try yeah. and have a plan for the week and Quite often, I still haven't turned my laptop on, and it's ten past three, and it's time to go and collect the children from school. So it's a bit of a juggle, but I think that's the same in every house like this, isn't it? Yeah, it's but it's just I there's mean, lots going on. Yeah, every house, but this is a castle. <laughs> it's got <laughs> a couple of turrets. But yeah, I'm going to throw the sheet at you, and let's okay. get this done, and then we can get you a comfy okay. bed for this evening. Can you um, go around the other side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you like an expert at making beds? I pretend to be when I need to be. <laughs> Down there. Okay. What about the corners? How are yeah, you? Yeah. Are you any good at hospital corners? Let's just do this one first. Hospital good at... corners. Do you know a hospital corner? Right. So no. Then... Okay, I'll show you. So down underneath. Pull it underneath and tight. Yeah. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah. Now get this bit that's all drapey down here. Yeah. And go like that. Okay. Go like that's that. It. Yeah. And then okay. take what's dangling underneath. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. it. And then bring the bit that was foldy up here. Yeah. Down, and then you've got a nice tight, tight corner. Since the 19th century, nurses would use this method to make beds for their patients. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I think we both need practice. I haven't done one for a you while. Are... So, Pentilly was a maternity hospital in the Second World War. So, we quite like our hospital corners. We take it all back to when there was ladies having their babies here oh, during the war, which is quite fantastic. War. And why was it? Why did it become a maternity hospital? Well, we are just 20 minutes from Plymouth, so down the river, and then the Blitz, and the Alexandra Nursing Home in Plymouth was, you know, one of the places that might be, might be attacked right. or, or right. suffer under a bomb threat. So um, the Pentilly and another house the other side of the river in Devon were both requisitioned as maternity hospitals. You're Okay. So Pentilly was a maternity ward. So, sort of all during the Second World War, actually. We haven't done very well at this end. No, we? I haven't. I'm um, just going to kind of watch you again. So under. Yeah. Yeah. And then bring this bit that's all dangly. So you've got some to dangle, the side bit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's going on over there. Tuck that bit under. Okay. And then the okay. side okay. bit. Okay, yeah. And then the side bit. Okay. <laughs> Housekeeping are going to laugh at me. They're going to say, oh, Sammy, that's No, they're going to look at my side and they're going to be like, she is rubbish. Well, between us, <laughs> we both could do a bit fun. more practice, couldn't we? I mean, I could. I don't think you need a bit more practice. Well, but there we are. Sort of okay, practice. I'm happy. Let's, 
Do are. that. Tuck it under. I'm, I'll have to bring this back to Matt Britton. <laughs> Hospital corners. There we are. That's quite okay. nice, isn't it? It's nice. I'm it's happy to sleep on this. I'm very excited to Perfect. sleep on Perfect. So now it's duvets, which always are hilarious when we get lost in a duvet, but... Oh, dear. There. No, 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 you're good. That one. Okay, here. With yeah. my hand. Grab. And then pull it through. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's right. Genius. There okay. we are. Done. Look. <laughs> I'm going to have such I've an uncomfortable night's sleep. This is brilliant. It was like really comfy, except one this side of the bed really didn't have any cover. In my own bed. What was amazing when we first came here to Pinsley, um, right. we invited some babies and some mums to, to come and have tea. And this one lady arrived and she had rowed here from Plymouth when she was in labour, which is quite impressive. She rowed she up rode. the river in yeah. labour. Yeah. To get to Pentilly yeah. during the war. Yeah. That's that amazing, is isn't it? And she's she, and you she came back to visit. She came she back to visit, yeah, with her son, which was wonderful and amazing. With so the that was son only, that was born here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But then the castle was th three quarters bigger. I forgot to say that bit. That was pretty important because there's not that many reason, you know, eight bedrooms probably isn't enough for a whole maternity hospital. But the castle was three quarters bigger. So the courtyard you arrived in was this, a central courtyard. And so that, there was another wing out there and another wing out there. But it was all knocked down in the 60s. So we're left with, I suppose, a third of what was here. It's all but right. you can have that one. Thank you. There Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I like a little zhuzh. A little zhuzh. Zhuzh. There we are. Perfect. Over the past 50 years, Pentilly has undergone some dramatic changes. But since the family inherited the castle in 2007, they have transformed it into the most magical and tranquil place to stay. You've done a lot to this castle, is that um, right? I think we have done quite a lot to this castle. It was a very uh, sort of dead space, perfectly livable in. Right. Um, but it was a very, de just a dead space, very, um, just needed some life and some love. But I kind of knew what I wanted, if yeah. that makes any sense. Yes. And I sort of knew what, I didn't want wallpapers and all that sort of thing. Um, I just wanted it as plain as possible because actually at that stage we didn't even know what we were going to do with the whole house. Was it going to be a livable prospect? quickly became obvious that it wasn't. Um, and so then what we're going to do, if you've got the general public in and lots of parties going on, there's no point in having wallpaper, which has got to be redone yes. <laughs> after every, every wedding. And so it was paint and I knew the sort of colors I wanted. Yeah, it's very, it's, 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 it's a clean, welcoming color. Good. It, yeah, exactly. so I really exactly. like that. So you've then taken, obviously not here, but you've taken all of pretty much kind of the, the shell of the yeah. castle, if you yeah. like, and the interiors. Yeah. A, lot of it, a lot of it. And and, and it. certainly from the, from this 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 point on. But this is actually one of my most favourite bits. Right here. Did, yeah. Um, this is my military wall, what I call my military wall, because um, all Ted's relations. Uh, this is Geoffrey Corrison, who his first cousin, who he inherited Pentilly from. Ah. He was actually the second son. The first, the eldest son was ah. killed in. Um, El Alamein and then Jeffrey inherited but ah, as the second son okay. and then he came here to um, to run the house and they ran um, you know had a, a very lovely life but not a great deal I mean they, they had that they had chefs and cooks and things and they had no children and right. they then just lived here but it was very sterile is the only way I could describe it hugely sterile but right. anyway, we, so we then had to make it a, a sort of livable home even if you're coming here to as a as a paying guest yes uh, but one of my most favourite things is the, the guests who are not the paying guests, who are the military veterans who um, we have here twice a year. And they come and stay for a week. They either have, um, they can do exactly what they want. They can have yoga and meditation. They can do clay pigeon shooting. They can canoe. They can paddleboard. They can paint. Because yeah. they suddenly find that since they become veterans, they, they're now able to develop these amazing talents which maybe they didn't know they had. Listening to Sarah, I'm realizing what a special place Pentilly is and how much these walls have to tell. This is the most amazing bit, I think, of really Pentilly because um, it was done by our, the plasterer who was working on the house and he was in the house and it was, it was Poppy Day 2008. My son was in Afghanistan as well. 
So it was a pretty poignant day. And um, when we'd had our two minute silence, um, I came back in here and I found him just slashing this into the raw, this the was plaster, all raw plaster. plaster. This, yeah, because this was all just newly plastered. And yeah. the tears streaming down his face. And he was broken. Oh, he was absolutely bad. But coming, all his horrors coming back from his service in Bosnia and Croatia. It's and you, completely marvelous. And I said, I want that to remain. And he said, no, no, no. I said, Yes, yes, yes. And he said, I didn't even spell Afghan right. <laughs> and yeah. I said, I just... Because he was in a moment of... of well, well, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, just, it doesn't, it, it doesn't is... matter. And I love it. I yeah, love it. And, I, it's, I... and that's really what... It, it's, that's what Pentil is about. To me, it's part of the thing that it gives out for, for sort of healing. Sarah takes me across the estate to a very special place which the veterans have uncovered for the first time in 70 years. On a sunny hillside, the Victorian walled kitchen garden is being brought back to life. In the 1950s, it took five gardeners to tend the two and a half acre garden to produce fruit and vegetables for the castle. But today, it's a place where nature is giving so much more. And here you have the beginnings of the great sanctuary of the kitchen garden. And all the sort of things that we've been doing with the boys is that some of them didn't want to grow veggies, but they right. were wanted to expose all the, the old cobbles which haven't been exposed for, for years and years and years, because all along here was junk and filth and muck and I can't even call it compost, but rubbish that had just been stuck there for well, the last 70 years, I suppose. So they, they come here, and this is just one element within sort of the castle that they, and the grounds that they can come to, and it's... This is where they are, this is safe. It's, yeah. They're totally safe. Um, and um, when I say they're safe, they just feel secure. Yes. Um, and uh, there's always somebody with them in case there's a bit of a meltdown that goes on. You never know what that sudden peace brings on. Of course. Um, and uh, we've just, they just do whatever they would like to do, whether it's grow the seeds, or whether it's grow the weeds, or learn how to take little cuttings, or, to make it look better, as in the sort of potting shed there, which you, they've uncovered wonderful old tools and the swallows in and out, in and out, in and out, so wonderful. So this is really a place that they feel, the war heroes really feel that they can come and just be, they can do if they need to do something and they feel they want to, but they also can just feel safe. They can feel, I think the main thing is that they feel safe, they haven't got to worry if somebody's coming behind them or um, anything like that and they can have their cup of tea, they can weed, they can plant, they can just sit and um, quite what we, well just the other day we had a, a lovely barbecue. We're hoping to be able to expand it to be able to do either more days or definitely more veterans because right. as you can see it's needing a lot of hands to hold this under control but they have done an amazing job it's like fighting through a jungle when we um, when we started well, earlier no on. i mean it's a vast kitchen garden i mean yeah. this is vast and i've also you know i've spotted um a couple of Peacock. Oh yes. Is that right? We have got <laughs> we've got seven peacocks and You've got seven peacocks. consequently everything's sort of barricaded against them um, peacock damage because they'll eat absolutely everything. And we even found them getting in the greenhouse eating the um, the grapes off the vine. But I, su I suspect that the veterans must like that coming here, having a cup of tea and being surrounded yes. by peacocks. <laughs> Next time on American Viscountess at Pentilly Castle, I step into another world with Ted. Uh, we found that there's a, a vault underneath here, which is completely sealed. About here, there's the remains of a chair with a, a, a body. No. Yeah. No, no, no. So he's just sitting there waiting. What? You <laughs> saw him? He's just you saw him. Yeah. What? He, so he did really do that? Bigger than you. Okay, so, so these. these and when Sammy and I go foraging for slows, I face up to my greatest fear. Do you think they're thirsty? They just want some slow gin, don't they, really? Or they want me. <laughs>